so what? Ooh. And now we're streaming on YouTube. So we're live on two destinations. Hi, if you guys are just tuning in, we are trying out a new program. So we're gonna give it a minute to just make sure we're live and we have volume. Do I just go to notification that we are live? We are live, okay, yeah. for, on Facebook, right? Yep. Okay, awesome. Well, it's Monday, Jenny and Kaylee here. We're gonna bring you guys up to speed what's happening at Music Compound. Uh, the program that we're using, though, for those that are interested, is called Switchboard, which is working with uh, Switcher, which we've used in the past to do like video chats. So if you've seen different angles, uh, we use that through Switcher. So we are now streaming live on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So with, with one device. With one device. So <laughs> hopefully it's going to work for us. Um, I started working on it yesterday, and. This morning I had a technical call, but we are live and we're here and we're gonna hopefully keep it brief, but we have some exciting things to share with you today. So we're gonna be talking about um, Inspire. We're gonna be talking about the concert on Friday. We're gonna be talking about collaboration and a young author that we're working with to promote our Rock Your Summer Reading Program and education. We're gonna be breaking down the groups that we have in store for you along with our academy. If you've been following our stuff, you've probably seen a lot of posts in the last couple days. So we'll bring you guys up to speed with that. But let's start with the family concert. Yeah. So um, I really enjoyed it. And I'm really proud of all of our families that came together to create these fantastic videos. Um, I have to say, Leanne and her mom just so broke cool. me. Yeah, we had no idea. I had no idea that uh, she knew. Sorry. Yeah. So I learned about that through doing lunch with them during summer camp. Okay. And um, Leanne was telling me her mom did musical theater and all this. I was like, so it was really cool. They, so they did a great job. And then I don't know if you guys saw our performance, but we performed. We um, I just posted that video. It is sideways. Um, <laughs> just a couple minutes so that we, ago so that we could reference that. Um, we have a band called Masters of Chaos, and it's the front office team. It originally started a year ago. I think yeah. almost two years ago because Katie was still here. Okay, so about two years ago. Um, where we all learned a different instrument. At that point, I think I played bass at that point, or was it drums? You, so, both. You did one song on drums, one song on bass. Okay. Katie and I were learning guitar because we had no music experience. Right. So, you know, everyone's like, we need to fix that. Right. Um, unfortunately, we got busy and it fell apart, but we wanted to bring it back. I started taking drum lessons, like, consistently. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing ukulele, which, you know, kind of re-inspired us all to get back to it. Right, so. exactly. And then I took a bass lesson. And then a week later, I was playing bass, and it was crazy because Aaron was trying to teach me like all this counting and this reading, mm -hmm. and when it came to rehearsal, putting it all together was really tough. And then we were just like, let's just play it, like forget all this <laughs> technical stuff, and then we played it. Yeah. So I thought we sounded okay. I mean, I would say considering we only had like an hour. So we had like one practice and one rehearsal, yeah. basically. We did not plan well or practice correctly, but no, it did come together. It was a lot of fun. And right. yeah, considering all that, I think we did all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Jared was there to help us and keep the timing and everything. So kudos to Jared and thank you. And um, thank you to Aaron for working with us through that first rehearsal. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to continue. So if you guys have any song selections that you would like to see your front office team perform, you can yeah. drop those in the comments. And we want to welcome Alyssa to our front office team as well into the band. Um, so we're really thankful to have her because she sings. Mm -hmm. um, I want to sing, though, in the future. I really, really do. Um, cool. I think that's what I was born to do, not play musical <laughs> instruments. So some Dixie anyway. check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you guys have any comments about that, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your inspiration and your encouragement as well. Mm -hmm. So um, so that was it. And if you missed the concert, that'll be up on our YouTube and it's on our Facebook. So take a look at that. Um, Aaron and Alicia also submitted a video too. So it's really cool to see our staff, our family, like perform and come together. And uh, it's a great team building exercise as well. So if anybody's out there that you own a business, or maybe you need to help with your team coming back together now that everyone's coming back to the to work or through COVID. Um, great team building exercise. So reach out to us if you're interested in that. Awesome. Um, cool. 
Cool. So let's talk about collaboration. So for those that don't know, we have been doing a program or we launched a program called Rock Your Summer Reading. And it's a program to encourage kids to read over the summer a total of 50 books. Uh, so we've partnered with local mm -hmm. businesses where they are providing prizes. So you could, you know, get a Chick-fil-A, kids meal, PDQ, milkshake, Big Cat Habitat, Nut and Butt Cakes, Evie's on the Range, Fruitville Grove. So all of these businesses came together and they are literally donating prizes to kids for reading books, which is super cool. Um, one thing that we've done is we've partnered with individuals, young people that have an interest in child literacy and reading to others. Like Kathy did a couple mm -hmm. live reads. She was actually just donating like 2,000 books like to the community through United wow. Way this past Very cool. weekend. So kudos to you, Kathy. And then also we have a friend of ours named Sienna and Sienna wrote a book and I saw her on the Suncoast View, I want to say in March, I saw her on the Suncoast View and she was getting ready to do a lot of book signings and due to COVID it all got canceled. So she was on there. Anyway, so I reached out to her mom, Deepa, and said, hey, we'd love for Sienna to host a live read or partner with us. Mm -hmm. And then Deepa was like, well, what if Sienna signed some books? And then that was the book that she read. So we have, there you go, signed copies of Sienna's book. Now, Sienna is an eight-year-old author. She is absolutely amazing. I had an interview with her last week. That's and cool. she is going to be on the Suncoast View tomorrow morning as well. Um, so if you guys want to see her um, on Suncoast View, tune in to ABC. And yeah, this is her book. And there's still six weeks to cash in on those prizes. So even yeah. if you haven't started or you started and kind of got derailed, make sure that you're still reading those books. There's prizes for reading one book, three books, five books. Exactly. Like cash in on those, meet up with those local businesses. Be sure to say thank you. Like Definitely. It's really, really cool what they're doing for the community right now. It is super cool. And on July 30th, Sienna will be reading her book. So if you want to stop by Music Compound, you could pick this book up for $13. I pre-purchased 10 books, so that way you can make it easy for everybody. So if you come here and buy one, number one, you're supporting a, lo a local young author, and um, you can read it along with her. So anyway, so come here and purchase this book, um, and her website is SiennaWrites.com, so you can find out more information about her. Um, if you forget that, you can go to musiccompound.com forward slash read, and that will also take you to the page that has all the information for our Rock Your Summer Reading program. Um, we'll drop all these links in there. Anything else we should add about that? I don't think so, but be sure to check her out. Like, she just really, really very cool, very inspiring. Very inspiring. <laughs> like, to believe that she's only eight years old. And she's a foodie as well. She loves food, so um, <laughs> FYI. Cool. All right, let's go to education. Awesome. So education, this is kind of my portion, at least at first. In August, we're gonna be introducing a couple different groups, which I know the school year got pushed back. So we're kind of ex excited about that because that means we have another four weeks where, you know, schedule's not changing. Yes. Um, so we're gonna be offering three different groups with Miss Alicia, uh, a piano group for ideally like second through fifth graders. Mm -hmm. We're looking for that eight to 11 year old range. Um, so intro to piano, so no experience required. Uh, just come in and start to learn and get an introduction to it, see if it's something that you like. Uh, guitar, same thing, introduction to guitar, second through fifth graders, also Miss Alicia, they're gonna be in Studio C, everyone's gonna have their own instrument, be spaced out, six yeah. feet apart. Um, and then at six o'clock on, and these are all on Wednesday nights, uh, we have a ukulele group. Perfect. So this is a four week uh, segment just for the month of August and it's only $99. So I mean, it's a 50 minute class. So it's a really, really good value. Very good value. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy good value. And it's a great way to kind of see if that's something that you're interested in or hey, I've had a ukulele in the closet and I've been meaning to play it, but I just didn't know where to get started. This is kind of the class for that. Um, another really cool group that we're gonna be offering is a digital music class all about recording your own instrument. So I don't know if anyone is interested in digital music, but if you are, you probably looked into it and realized that there are crazy expensive programs. Yes. Um, and it's just super overwhelming to know like, okay, there's these five different programs. They all cost like $500 on up. What do I do? This is kind of the, gonna be the intro. Like, where do you get started with spending the least amount of money? Basically spending no money besides taking the class. Um, and it's all about like recording yourself and where, where your next step is going to be. 
So that's going to be with Mr. Aaron. It's going to be on Monday nights at or Monday afternoons at 3:30. And that's going to be another 4 week 50 minute class limited to 3 to 4 people. Yeah. So yeah. And that'd be great for any that's writing their own music or wanting to start recording their own music too. Right. I know we have a lot of songwriters as well. So consider doing that just for basic knowledge. I mean, we all have a lot of extra time. I'm not going to say we all. We definitely don't have <laughs> extra time. But I know a lot of our students do. So this is a great way to fill that time up that you're not in school where you can start actually producing your own music, learning different programs as well. And some of it is, from what he said on Friday too, you don't have to actually know how to play any instruments as well. Right where you can use the tracks of the drums and the guitar, and you can actually create an entire song by not playing any musical instruments as well. So it's kind of twofold. I think it's gonna be a really exciting program. Or for those that attended camp, maybe you wanna sign up for just maybe another group class because you like the interaction and the, the social aspect of you know coming to Music Compound and being part of the music. And as Kaylee said, a lot, these groups are gonna be maxed at four, right? Maxed at four. Maxed at four, and that's gonna be in Studio C. So there's ample room in there for you guys to space out, have the social distancing of six feet within the classroom. Our teachers will be wearing masks as well. Um, not during the whole entire class, but definitely during intake, outtake, and if they are within six feet, they will be putting their masks up as well. Mm -hmm. So that will be happening. So we are following a lot of safety protocols. I know we're getting a lot of questions right now, but call us. We will tell you um, how we're doing it. It may fit your needs. It may not fit your needs, but we're going to tell you how we are keeping it safe, keeping it clean, and keeping everybody still playing music and collaborating on some level. Um, and of course, as a lot of you guys know, we're still offering online. Yep. So that, that's always an option. If you have any ideas for a class that you'd like to see in person or online, let us know because there's always things changing as you can see. <laughs> we didn't have group classes last week, but we do this week. Right. So just let us know what you are interested in if you have some friends that are interested in things as well. Uh, we're doing registration for our Kids Raw classes in sep that are coming up in September. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some classes at Cattlemen. We're going to have a few classes downtown. Mm -hmm. Same thing, limited people. We're going to be in a big space, um, but those classes will start in September. So registration is open right now. We're offering less classes than we usually do in an effort to, you know, keep everything clean and organized and yeah. safe. So uh, if that is something you guys are interested in, go ahead and register now, or at least get your name on those mm -hmm. lists because it's going to fill up fast. Right, and in addition to that too, as a reminder, Julie Rohr is joining our team and she will be offering show choir and musical theater programs here on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting in September. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you are interested in those programs, we've been getting a lot of inquiries on those, yeah. which is really exciting. Um, if you're interested in those programs as well, give us a call or go to our website and hit the Get Started or Start Now button to the far right. That will send us an inquiry and some information so that we can give you a call and get you signed up. So as you can see, we are moving forward. We're trying to offer a lot of great value. And that's, I just want to go back to the social aspects. I think a lot of kids need that right now. Um, I know that some people may be divided and maybe not think it's a great idea, but the kids really do need an outlet to be creative and be amongst friends in a safe environment. And that's what we're doing here at Music Compound. Um, so and as Kaylee said, we have a lot of online classes too. Um, another thing that's happening too is on Wednesdays, we're doing our Wow Wednesdays where we're having our students take over our Facebook page. And I want to remind everyone that Annalise will be taking over our Facebook page Yay. this Wednesday at 11 a.m. She'll either be doing it from her home studio or from here at Music Compound, but make sure you put that on your calendar. Uh, and then we have Dexter Day, we have Case and Ferris, and we've got a couple other students that will be um, showcasing their mm -hmm. musical ability and their talents and their passion for music as well. So, um, okay. okay, perfect. So our last item and probably the most exciting thing that we have to talk about today is our Academy. And the Academy is a program that we actually considered launching back in 2017 when um, we had a lot of our students that were traveling to Nashville, LA. Uh, they were doing a lot of shows at the Oslo and just regular school was not a good fit for them. Mm -hmm. So we thought about doing a program here at Music Compound using a virtual uh, learning system and then doing classes in person. Well, at that time it was kind of foreign, I think, to most people to kind of wrap their head around that, which most things Music Compound does at times is foreign to most people. <laughs> um, so we are launching the Academy. In, in other words, it's a homeschool hub. So we've hired education coordinator Alicia Jennings. Yay! 
we're going to be shooting some videos and um, streaming some live stuff later on today so you'll have a chance to meet her if you don't already know her she's fabulous we're really excited to have her uh, she is an educator she does teacher training she is all about curriculum um, she's got a great resume so we're really excited for her to join our team so the structure of it in short terms is Monday through Thursday from around 9 a.m. to noon or 1230 your child will do their core curriculum through Florida virtual school deadline to register is July 31st for Florida virtual so if you are considering this program or you're interested in more information please reach out to us as soon as possible so that's from 9 to 12 or 1230 Monday through Thursday the afternoon session is all about enrichment so we'll have dance classes art classes music classes that is open to all homeschool families. You don't have to be registered in our academy per se and do the morning to partake in the afternoon. So we have three options. Basically you can do the morning, all the core curriculum. You do not have to homeschool your children. We have a facilitator, let us handle that for you. You can do full day, which includes the core curriculum and the enrichment program, or you can just do the enrichment program. So as you can see, we have a lot of great options. It's very affordable as well for those families that have an interest in music, arts, and not homeschooling their children and not sending them <laughs> back to the school system. So not that that's not a great thing. I'm sure everybody has their own opinions, but we're here. The morning session is only going to allow 12 students. So there's only 12 spots. That way we can keep it intimate, clean, safe, and we are accepting grades third through eighth grade. So if you have a child grade third through eighth, mm -hmm. give us a call. We're happy to walk you through it. You can also visit our website, go to the Academy. It's a header on our website now. Lots of information as far as electives. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a great program. We're doing some music appreciation, yes. music theory. Oh, we have some really, really cool classes that we're working on putting together, bringing people in the community. Um, yeah, drama kids will be joining us. We have a, a, we're working on an art partnership and a dance partnership as well. So it's just a great way to just like really create music compound as like literally the entire compound, <laughs> I feel like is really what we're going to have and much more. So we're really excited about that. Once again, that's the Academy. It's a homeschool hub here in Sarasota. That'll be hosted at our Cattleman studio. Um, and we'll be launching that August 31st. However, registration for Florida virtual school deadline is next Friday. Next Friday. <laughs> so we have 12 spots um, and we, we hope to fill them by next Friday. So if you're interested, give us a call. We'd love to have you guys here with us. Um, and once again, if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments too. Anything else? Because I feel like it's a lot of information. I think that's it. I think that is a lot of information. Okay, perfect. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go to YouTube and subscribe. We upload some videos there. We've got a lot of training videos from our staff as well. So if you're getting bored and you would like to have some more music education. And we have lots of teachers but we're that we brought on board, but we're not going to announce that now. Um, that'll be another podcast, but we have brought on four new instructors and we're really excited about what they bring to the table and the programs that they're going to be involved in. And if you're interested in jazz camp, we have a few openings for next week's jazz band camp. Yep. Pretty much all the other summer camps I think are sold out, but jazz camp, sixth through 12th grade with an interest in jazz music and I think our contemporary band in the afternoon. I know it only has one person. Oh really? Yeah. So, okay. Okay. But right now we have one person in there. If we were to get like five and we would keep it, we may have to cancel that one. Uh, but definitely the jazz band camp is happening. Um, and a couple other camps are happening, but I think we're at max capacity. All right. Cool. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in.